Okay, guys, so I'm about 14-ish hours played in the Wuthering Waves closed beta 2, and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts around the game so far with what I've played. Now, I will do other videos going through different features in the game, and also I will do a more condensed thoughts video later on once I've played a much more of the game. But in general, the first thing I want to touch about is story. Now, I know they had a big thing about reworking the whole story. I myself, after they said there was going to be a skip button, I decided to skip story because it's still not voiced in this beta. So I was like, I'd rather enjoy it once it's voiced. The problem is that the skip button is only in like mini quests. It's not in the main quest line. So I ended up spam clicking through it. Hopefully they do add that skip button into the main quest line once that is is fully live because I really hope they do for those that do just want to skip the story. Now, as for how the story is, the cutscenes that I see are fantastic. I obviously skipped through, so I didn't get too much uh, context in what's going on. I've seen mixed opinions from people out there on the internet. Some people absolutely love it. Some people really don't like it. So I have no idea. I'll have to wait and catch you guys up on that one. But, I mean, like I said, from the characters they've introduced, it does seem decent, but I am very easily pleased, so I'm not a great critic on stories anyway. As for combat, now, combat early on when I was playing, I, I try to avoid leveling my characters and stuff like that to try and give it, like, that harder type sense. Now, I feel like combat, you got to split into boss fights and then trash mobs. Trash mobs are a little bit tedious uh, because, you know, you're trying to do those AoEs and they splash around and then you end up only hitting one. Could be skill issues on my part, 100%. But in general, trash mobs aren't that exciting in combat, but they are very exciting in the Echoes, which we'll talk about in a minute, which is definitely my favorite part of the game at the moment. Uh, but yeah, trash mob combat, it's nothing crazy. You go around, you kill some stuff, bring a healer with you in the open world because, you know, you will get hit from time to time when you're fighting like seven enemies and you can just heal up. It's not too bad. As for the boss fights, I have really enjoyed the boss fights. Now, I am not the greatest fighting game player. I've, I haven't had like massive issues, but if you are severely under leveled to the point where a boss can two to three hit you, it does make it very much more intense. However, once you do level your characters up, level your weapons up, uh, you know, start getting your quote unquote gear uh, or your echoes, uh, you know, built up, it does become a lot easier. It's a lot more forgiving. And I think they've balanced it well in that the fights do feel like you do have to dodge at the right points and stuff like that. However, for those that do get further progressed, it's forgiving in that, you know, your stats can help you survive those hits. I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with the lag. I've been playing playing at about 250 ping because I'm in Australia and I'm playing on the Japanese server with a VPN active. And honestly, I, I haven't had any massive lag issues, which I'm super happy with. So it's been fairly responsive for me uh, and I've really enjoyed the boss fights and I found that it does have that feeling. Once again, I'm not the greatest player, so other people may not have this, but like the different bosses that I fight, it takes me like one or two times fighting them to really nut out their attack windows and then I can get used to it because I find a lot of the bosses do have like an indicator of when they're going to attack. But after that indicator happens, it's a different timing for each boss I found on when they actually do the strike. So I, I find replaying bosses uh, does make you much better at them. So I do enjoy that. And I think the boss fights are quite enjoyable. As for the characters themselves, I've still only been using the first four characters that we get. I've been saving up summons for a summon video, uh, but I do like the uh, the way they've done the character abilities. They've all got different passives that tie into different sort of energy meters that they can use. And for instance... Um, Yang Yang, I think her name is, like she can uh, unleash her like energy when she uses like an aerial attack, whereas some others like the MC uses his E skill to do it. So they do have different sort of systems in the characters, which I do appreciate as opposed to every character being stale with just one, one ability and one ultimate. They do have the one ability and the one ultimate, but then they have the energy system uh, the, the, or resource system that kind of differentiates them all from each other. And then we also have the X. Echoes. Now, Echoes are, like I said, my favorite part of this. So normally in these games, when I go around an, an open world and I see enemies, I'm kind of like, uh, you know, enemies. Uh. But now I see enemies and I'm excited, unless they're humanoids, because I know I can't get them. <laughs> but if I see any enemy that I know can be an Echo, and for those that don't know what I'm talking about, 
basically when you kill some of the mobs in the world there's a chance that let's just call it their shadow remains and you can capture that shadow and that shadow of them is called an echo and it becomes basically a piece of your gear and then you can equip it and depending on which you can equip up to five echoes and depending on which one is first in the order you unlock an ability some of them may be that they summon onto the field and do something maybe they group enemies others maybe you transform into them and you beat down on the enemies i really like this system and then it's got your general stat type system in it like gearing in most other games now i haven't completely nutted out the exact way all this echo system works but i just know i love it it makes fighting mobs in the overworld exciting because you might get a copy of them they do have shiny ones i haven't seen a shiny one or an altered coloration yet but i'm super excited to see it but i think that is the best thing they've done for the immersion in the world or the enjoyment in the world is make echoes the gearing system because it makes it fun to go and destroy any enemy in the world at the moment it seems like it does scale with your account level on how uh the how quality the echoes are but i'm still trying to figure all that stuff out now the one thing i will say about the world um the world it's what you expect there's a lot of you know puzzles and stuff like that i will just say that i think it's not completely filled out enough it feels like there is a lot of time that you spend running and you don't really see much in the world i love them now that they have this ecosystem to sort of fill the world out with more of those monsters for me to kill so i'm not like just endlessly just running around not having much to do now they do have the other puzzles uh i'm one of those people like i'm like cool rewards with the puzzles but it's like those some of the puzzles it's like okay you need three boxes to put on these things and i'm like okay there must be boxes around here that i gotta put on these buttons i found two of the bo boxes the, where's the other box at and it's just like it's like one of those ones where it's not like a mind game puzzle it's like a uh, where, where is it i can't find it skill issue once again yes but in general you know the puzzles there's some really fun ones there are some fun mini games where you like turn into like a dragonfly type thing you got to fly through uh all like the little rings and get all the points and get to the end you get some chests there are some cool mini games like that and stuff like that as well which i did thoroughly enjoy but like i said i'm only about 14 hours in so that's pretty much where i'm at uh the main things that i will say is one the combat i'm very happy with the combat story like i said i'm not too sure but it does seem pretty well presented when they do their cutscenes. it does seem like they have put a lot of effort into them but like i said i'm hanging out for that english va um skip button i know they i know they added in the skip button but i really do hope that that does come as a feature in the main story and also like the companion quests there's like so your main story is the gold quests and then you've got like you know side quests which are like blue but then you've got companion quests which are about characters in the game and they're purple and those don't skip either and the, and the two that i've done in there they are incredibly long quests with unskippable dialogue so if you love them that's cool i can't be bothered reading i will go through them once they are voiced in the future uh but that is the other thing i would love to see um and also like i said just getting some more mobs in the in the overworld or something else to do in the overworld um the it would just make it feel more immersive when you're running around not to have as much dead space but once again that is just my opinion so far from about 14 hours of play let me know what you guys think as always thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i look forward to seeing the next one cheers